This is Dr. Scott McLean and this is a YouTube video about implant dentistry. During this presentation we'll show how to remove a fractured zirconia abutment. The patient presented to my office on an emergency basis referred from another doctor with this uh, fractured uh, abutment assembly. And this usually happens because the abutment's not fully seated when it's tightened down and you can have some lateral pressure on the hex and then the hex gets fractured inside of the implant. And this can be very difficult to get out because what ends up happening is there's a conical connection on that hex just above it that gets locked down inside and then the hex itself gets locked down inside so it becomes a difficult task to get out unless you have a special tool developed by Steve Herson called the ZART. ZART stands for Zirconia Abutment Removal Tool. The piece of zirconia can be very difficult to get out because it does get locked down into the conical connection. The conical connection is made of two parts, the hex down inside, shown in yellow here, and then also the other part, which is the kind that, the part that locks in is the conical connection itself, which is like two styrofoam cups locking together. It kind of fits very snug, so when this is locked down inside, it's very difficult to get out without using something like the Zart. Our goal is to get this zirconia abutment last piece out with the Zart. And so we're going to take the Zart. It's a two-piece type of structure, almost like an impression coping. It has the outer coping and then it has a center pin in it. And when you take it apart, you'll notice that it actually has this coping aspect with two kind of wings on it. And these wings lock down underneath the abutment, so they'll go right underneath the hex. So as you stick it in, you can kind of feel that it's engaging underneath the hex a little bit. If you wiggle it, you can kind of feel that. Then the center pin is going to be taken and put back in. And when you put the center pin in, it expands those two wings, but it also pushes on the base of the implant. So as you do this, it will lift the part of the abutment that's broken back up very strategically. So what you try to do is you get those two pieces in place, you can have a closer look at it here and so one part is sitting down underneath the abutment the other center pin is going through and it actually doesn't need a lot of room through the gingiva to do this then you'll take a hemostat and the hemostat is going to pinch those two aspects together and pop the abutment out I like to check that the wings are engaging underneath the edge of the abutment before I use the hemostat watch this, this is just amazing you do one little pinch and then ta-da, you've got this out, the piece of abutment came out, no problem whatsoever. And uh, this is usually a little bit of an issue if you don't have this particular tool. The red shows the connection, the conical connection, how it was locked down in. We can see those two wings here in the yellow and they're locking underneath the abutment as the pin goes through. And as the pin goes through, what happens is as you kind of push the hemostat, it pushes here at the base of the implant and lifts the whole piece of zirconia up. The patient was surprised that it came out so easy. In fact, he was told it was going to take a little bit longer. So he was quite happy with how easy the procedure was. And as you look at these pieces, you'll notice that this probably was a heel jam. So part of the abutment had jammed in and then the screw was pinching sideways on the abutment. And this is typically what broke the older style full zirconia abutments with porcelain over top. So we made an 8-minute temporary, which I do show you in a course how to make. You can come to a course uh, we're training uh, with handsontraining.com, and you can learn how to do this. Now to restore this after this fracture, I would choose the ASC abutment. This is an angulated screw channel abutment, which can tip back 25 degrees. But notice the metal adapter. It's a titanium adapter on the base of the zirconia. So this makes it so this problem is just going to go away. And it also makes it so you can have screw retained crowns virtually 100% of the time. So the angulated screw channel is by far my favorite abutment for almost every area of the mouth. So we can see it here, the titanium fits down in the implant. So this in interface is very tight, very accurate, and very beautiful. So this is Dr. Scott McLean and this has been a YouTube presentation about implant dentistry.